Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Optima. If you guys have a Kia Optima and you have ABS and traction control light on, we will explain the top three things that can cause that. Make sure to stay until the end. Sometimes you don't even need to replace anything, so we will explain what you need to do in that case. So uh, let's go ahead and explain what it is. So, if you guys have a Kia Optima, uh, generation 2010 to 2015, uh, that video should be helpful. It may be even helpful on the later generation because uh, some, some things are interchangeable. Uh, let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to fix pretty much anything. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. In addition, guys, uh, all we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you need to buy any parts, tools for your Kia Optima, we will also share the link in the description of the video below where you can buy tools and parts for a really good price and quick shipping as well. That's where we get all our supplies from. Another thing, uh, if you guys uh, want to see our main YouTube channel, how to repair guys, you can find quite helpful information for vehicles that can save you thousands of dollars guys and we're appro approaching, uh, approaching 400,000 subscribers so uh, we have videos that can save you quite a bit of money. So we have that 2013 Kia Optima that we'll be demonstrating on. We're on the front left side of the vehicle, uh, but uh, even if you're on the uh, front right, procedure will be exactly the same. Uh, if you're on the rear ones, rear tires, it will be very similar as well. Now, you have guys a sensor on each wheel on your Kia Optima. Okay, that sensor will be installed right here on the front tires, you can see on the hub. Uh, the purpose of that sensor, it's known as an ABS sensor or speed wheel sensor. It detects how fast each of the tires is going. The computer needs that for braking, for ABS braking and for traction control. So it can control your vehicle if it's in a slide, it knows which brakes to apply, okay, and all that stuff. So with all that being said, guys, let's explain now what can trigger your lights, okay? Something that we see quite often, failed traction, con uh, tra a failed ABS sensor will trigger traction control light and ABS light. And sometimes, okay, the only way to find out if it's good or bad is you have to test them. But what we will recommend, okay, remove the sensor and clean it. Sometimes if you have too much dirt, dust, something stuck inside, okay, that can trigger the light uh, because uh, it won't be able to read from the, from the CV axle. Another thing, okay, you need to make sure that it's plugged in on most Kia Optimus will plug in under the fender liner right there is the wire, make sure it's not loose. So that's number one reason guys, ABS sensor. What else can cause that, uh, to have ABS and traction control light? Pretty simple. Number two guys, you have a sensor on the steering column that detects the angle of the tires. It's uh, the, the angle of the steering wheel and the tires. That's known as steering wheel sensor. Okay, steering angle sensor or steering wheel sensor, but in most, ca most cases known as a steering angle sensor. It detects how much you turn your steering wheel on your Kia Optima and how much the tires turn. So that way the vehicle can know, okay, in which direction the tires are pointing, if it's in a slide and all that stuff. So it will need it, guys. Now, if that sensor, the steering angle sensor is bad, okay, you will get traction control on ABS slide. But number three, guys, in most cases, that's not a bad sensor. In most cases, when your alignment is off on your vehicle or somebody did an alignment job, you took it to alignment shop, they did alignment, but they did not reset the steering angle sensor, you will have traction control and ABS light. This is due to the fact that it will not be reset calibrated. So you will need to reset or calibrate the steering angle sensor. And if you want to see how to do that, we have a special video on the channel. So if you want to find out how to test ABS sensor, how to test steering angle sensor and how to calibrate steering angle sensor on Kia, we will have those on our channel so please check it out hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time